Still early in the season, of course. He didn't play in Australia, didn't enter that tournament. Uh, lost uh, last 64 in the Wushi Classic and indeed in the first European Tour event in Bulgaria, but uh, it's a long old season. I'm sure we'll see him featuring in plenty of uh, the latter stages of various events. Yeah, not a bad break or shot either to start with. But Finney on the back foot straight away. Judd a strong favourite here, of course, no previous meetings either between these two. It'll be interesting to see how Judd plays this weekend. If he's on it, we know he can lift any tournament that, uh, or he's capable of lifting any tournament that he enters. Or any trophy, I should say. Got the shoes on, Dave. <laughs> he's a record of success in those shoes. It has to be said, they're not great. But uh, <laughs> we'll see how he gets on today. Yeah, first wore them at the Masters, actually. Turned right. It was a bit slippy, but uh, they're worn in now. Well, Vinnie Calabrese is uh, 25. As I say, first season on the circuit. He did. He played well actually to qualify for the Wushi Classic. He beat Anthony McGill. That was a good win. And then he beat a wild card, but lost out to John Higgins. They're the shoes that Mike was uh, referring to on Mr. Trump. Yes, he, he won the Australian national title at the age of 16. So it shows you uh, promising junior certainly. Yeah. And what a great pot that is. He's been unlucky there because he's got a massive kick and he's taken the pace out of the white. Otherwise, just watch this. Watch this red jump. Otherwise, it'd have been nicely on the black. And now he's having to refuse it, having to play the safety. Vinny Calabresi won. Yes, he was unlucky, as you say. There, it was a terrific pot. I'm sure, Neil Robertson, uh, his good friend, would appreciate that one. Vinny's very capable of causing Judd some trouble here. It'll just be a question of how this man plays, really. Well, that could have been better. Push the boat out there a little. Well, the chance then, the Australian does practice uh, a bit with Robertson in Cambridge. Obviously, uh, looks up to him. World number one now, Neil Robertson. This will distract him, I suppose, from the ashes. One. Might get him in a mean mood, the way <laughs> things are going there. <laughs> Take it out on an Englishman, eh? First European Tour event in Bulgaria, he drew Mark Williams in the first round. He didn't have a lot of luck, luck with the draws, does he? He lost that one 4-1. Of course, he's still finding his feet on the main tour. Sixteen. This is a good 17. chance here. 
there's plenty of loose reds. Vinnie Calabresi, eh? good name. Mm, has he come far enough? The intended red wants to be straightish on this red, of course, to drop it in for the black. I think he is, but he doesn't want to be playing the higher one. I have to go down for the blue or the pink. Well, he went for that red, and clattered into the pink. Having to play the uh, the higher red wasn't 25. really a problem. Nice little shot that is beautifully played. Well, so far, so good. Thirty eight, thirty nine. Could have done with a little bit more on the white there, but uh, it's okay. This is a confident start. Yes, I was just thinking how relaxed he looks. 46. Bearing in mind he's playing world number three live on television. Oh dear. Kenny Calabresi, 46. Just as he was going so well. Yeah, just look where he's finished on the black as well. So overall, that was a poor shot. Judd's in. He won one of these uh, European tour events last season in Bulgaria. And also uh, the big win was the international championship, the new event in China. Got to the semi-finals at the Crucible, but uh, lost out Five. to Ronnie O'Sullivan, 17-11. Six. Big match that, wasn't it? We thought that the winner of the title, the World Championship, would come out of that match. No respect to the other two boys, of course. Barry Hawkins and Ricky Walden. Barry did play well in that final, Thirteen. actually, against Ronnie. But Ronnie just had too much firepower in the end. Fourteen. Well, this would be a good frame to win because Calabrese was uh, going really well until he missed that.
29 30 oh. 30 Wow Unexpected Well that's that's just careless No one saw that coming, least of all Judd himself. One. So it's a reprieve for the Aussie. Might be the first wicket down in the next few balls then. Well, I suppose Eight. that Miss Black is a bit like sort of dropping a catch. If we're going to, we have to extend the cricket metaphors. <laughs> oh. Pini Calabrese, eight. Yes. Mm, I don't think he's got away with that. I think you just can see this red. Well, that's two chances. Second one was particularly a good one after Trump's miss. One. Well, that wasn't too clever. I'll just bring the yellow into play here and try and lay the snooker. Well, Judd would be a little bit annoyed with himself because that was a good chance, but he's pretty laid back, Judd, actually. Well, he's well snookered. How does he get to this red? If he misses it, he could leave a free ball. Right hand cushion, plenty of right hand side on the cue ball. It's a fairly big target off that one cushion. Well, Five. there you go. Miss. Jump well, seven. That will go back. the before it's not far away it's about spot on now take two then needs a bit more side on the cue ball with the swerve good hit but hmm that should be the end of this first frame Well, Benny can't say he hasn't had his chances in this opening Seven. frame, but it was a well-laid snooker from Judd there. He got away with the earlier attempted red. But, uh, Nine. But I say that well-laid snooker. Looks like it's, it's one in this opening frame. expect them to miss from here. Twelve. Sixteen. So blue and pink required. Twenty-one. 
Not been the greatest start to the season for Judd uh, David, but perhaps this weekend might just kick start it. Well, he'll be one of the favourites for sure. 27. Opening frame Perfect. certainly could have gone either way. It's gone in the end to Judd Trump. Big crowd in watching him. I'm sure most of them hoping he's going to make it through. Well, he's made a good start. He's won the opening frame. Well, uh, Calabresi had uh, a couple of chances, a couple of good chances, let's be honest, in that first frame, but uh, ultimately went to Trump. Good pace there on the cue ball. Good break-off shot. Nothing on for Judd, just a, a safety back to the ball carrier. Dead weight, got to be careful here because if he hits the wrong red, he might leave one on. That's okay. Well, having said that, the red is just left to the right, he might be able to cut this back in. the one I was thinking and that was the only danger hang on he's okay that was the only danger really that if that was the the, the, for the Vinny I was thinking that if he caught that middle red that was a possibility but well he might scatter them here straight into the pink oh didn't mess about with that one just look at that well he's not known for holding Six. back is he he's been a little bit unlucky as well he's covered everything to the right hand corner Still got one to the left. Seven. Well, this time we'll have to negotiate the key, key ball through the bolt colours, but just look at the reds. Black's out of commission. Pink's not clever either at the moment. Twelve. Well, he's such a heavy scorer, Judd Trump. Last season, he made 61 centuries, the first player ever to make more than 60 in a season. And this is why, it's because he gets them open so early. 13. Well, it's going to have to be Blues for the time being. He'd made 40 by Christmas. Went off the ball a little bit January, February, but uh, ended up with 61 centuries. He's another player, David, isn't he? You know, if, he's, if he's right on it, he's box office, like Ronnie. He certainly is. Very entertaining to watch. Oh, well, that's not gone well. I think he can just about get through the gap, though, for that one near the corner. judged 31 well wrong side of the blue so you might have to put a little bit of power into this one to get close to these reds as Vinny sits this one out so far well I'm just dropping it in 
And you just thought this, that there could be a danger of this with uh, Judd winning in that opening frame that suddenly he might go into the distance. 2-0 becomes 3-0. 37. You do get chances against these top stars, not that many. You have to try and take them. It's easier said than done. Otherwise, they finish up going into cruise mode and you're in trouble. 42. That could have been a little bit better. I'll have to stun round for the blue once more. This is hard work, really. A lot of mileage on this cue ball. Nicely played. Well, it could be a blue ball maximum, the way it's going here. It's all blues. Forty-eight. Forty-nine. Ah, he just got the double kiss. Might still take the blue on. He's got the yellow. yellow She's nominated the yellow. Sometimes you never know, Richard. Great shot. Well, and he looks good. Now, if he's got the perfect angle on this red, he could uh, open up the black here, and it looks good. 51. Well, this could be about the next cannon. 52. Well, he's pushed it to the corner, but unfortunately it's covered, I think, with the blue. What can he get between blue and green? Blue He's playing the blue. 52. Well, it was a frame winner if it went in, but he wasn't really close to the pot. 52 in front. miss there. Can't afford to miss too many of those, otherwise it could be an early bath. It's got another chance here. Just chip this one in, could land on the blue or the black. Well played. Nice kiss on the green would help. One. Well, he's got choices here. It just depends on the uh, what's the best angle to get back towards these reds. Well, that's a little bit unlucky. Just tied up those uh, two reds with the pink, but well, one will go to the left corner, which will open up the other anyway. Ah. Fini calabrese eight. So Trump back in, 44 in front. Not much to do here One. to win this frame. Might just be the case of too many of those, David, mm. for Vinny. And, uh, you know, this could be a short match. Yes, he looked really confident in the Eight. first frame until he missed. And ever since then, he's looked on edge. He already needs a snooker here. That red Nine. is uh, probably going to make sure. So it looks like 2 0. And Judd Trump's confidence can only grow. 
in uh, Hilda through a pace he's here. Hilda moans the referee. Ooh. Well, 15. looks like he's done Anything. enough. Vinny Calabrese uh, stays in his seat, so Judd Trump pretty swiftly wins the second frame and uh, he's in control here in Rotterdam. He leads 2-0. Judd Trump's just broken off here in frame three, leads 2-0. First frame was close, second frame not quite so close. Well, Vinny, this is the time we're going to have to start playing now. The good thing, though, whatever happens here today for a new professional, there's so many tournaments to play in now, so many opportunities to gain experience and indeed gain experience of playing top players right from the off. Let's not forget, it's only a couple of seasons ago, two or three seasons ago, David, these players would play a match and then probably have to wait six weeks for the next yeah, one. Yeah, that's right. You know, nine tournaments and now got 30 plus on the calendar, which is fantastic. fully on the black. I can only yeah, assume that the black won't go, but still a good pop from there. Just a safety coming up. Good player, this lad from Australia. Just needs to tighten things up a little bit here. Like I say, he has had the chances. He could have easily have won both frames. But he's got a bit to do. Yeah, the problem he's had, of course, you know, he became after Neil Robertson left and turned pro, became the best player in Australia, but he had no one to test himself against. He need to practice against better players, and now he's in the UK, he's got a chance to do that. Ah. Foul. Miss. Well, I was looking for a thin contact. Well, he's decided to play or try and play a good safety himself. Doesn't want the knock all. Mm. We might see John how we go at one here. Well, I'm sure he's thinking now, why didn't I just put him back in? <laughs> I think he's got the gap here with the cue ball as well. Well, actually, it might have turned out in his favour. Let's just see. Well, it's not bad. Uh, just got away with that a little bit. get this frame on the board Vinny otherwise I can't really see him coming back from there great pace Thick side, he was lucky just to 
avoid that red there, but has he covered this one near the corner pocket? Well, it seems not. One. Won't be best pleased with that, leaving the white near the cushion. But yes, he's got the blue on, but uh, he's going to have to play this at medium pace to avoid the yellow here. Well, he had the perfect angle, so it wasn't a problem. Oh, hang on. Six. Well, that's not great. Yes, there's a pot on to this left corner, but it's tough. And uh, it might be able to go on to the pink. I think he's possibly playing this one to the left middle. Great shot. And he's on the green. And now he can get amongst them at this end. That's an excellent pot from there. Ten. <laughs> Let's put the green on the wrong spot. Spot the deliberate mistake. <laughs> he did spot it. From 10. Just to clarify the rule there, David, if Judd had played that shot with the green on the yellow spot, it wouldn't have been his responsibility. Would he have been fouled there? I don't think he would, because I think the rule now is the referee's responsibility to spot the balls mm. and not the players. It was changed a few years ago. So although if you had played on, and not spotted it. I don't think he would have been called for a foul. They would have just carried on. They don't miss much, though, do they? Well, he spotted it straight away, although uh, he then missed the next ball. I'm not saying the two were necessarily linked, but it was a surprising miss. Meanwhile, Anthony Hamilton and Alan Taylor, what are they playing at? Because it's <laughs> that match started nearly four hours ago, and it's 3-2 to Hamilton. Well, this could have finished anywhere. Ultimately, he's left it on. One. Seven. Well, he chose to take that red off the cushion, but sacrificed the position a little bit. Need a good pot on the pink or the blue here to continue. Well, this is a big shot because he's opening reds, and uh, if it doesn't go in, well played. Thirteen. Pink goes to this left corner, so can he get over for it? I think the red to the top pocket might be the the best shot, actually. We just don't, might have too much angle on this one to the middle, we shall see. Bit of check side, perhaps. But he's missed the red. That's careless.
have one. and about choosing to get them open. Six. He's been a little bit lucky to see that red go over the middle, especially where that cue ball is. Seven. Well, he doesn't really want the black. It would tie it up. He might take the green here instead. David, this could be the end here for Vinnie Calabresi. Well, certainly the body language wasn't good in the chair, and as we go back to that first frame, which he had a good chance to win, all the confidence 11. he seemed to bring into the match just drained away after that. Well, you know, we've seen the pattern, really, in a lot of these matches, don't we? You see the top stars and that, and you, you do get chances, but again, if you don't get them, they'll, they'll, they're off into the distance. John Higgins this morning, 4-0. Slightly different match between Jack Lazowski and Matthew Couch. How often do we see that, especially in the best of sevens, you, you must get off to a good start, whoever you're playing? Well, it's no accident, is it, that uh, although everyone comes in the first round of these tournaments, it's always what well, pattern the last couple of years. It's always a top player that wins them. Joe Trump himself last year in Bulgaria. Of course, the first event of this season, John Higgins. Now, when he played a little cannon on the red nearest the pink, back for the blue, stand would strike into it's a stun shot. 21. Well, I say the blue, but might be the brown. Oh dear. Judd Trump. 21. Well, I was getting ahead of myself as well. I was thinking this is the fourth frame, of course. It's only the third. But that was a bad miss from Judd Trump. One. Well, another chance for the Aussie. Should take a little risk here and just uh, open up pink and red. Chose not to. But that's still a problem, unless he's got the angle to do it here. Six. Seven. Another good angle on the blue. Well played. Just the awkward one there, the side cushion. Well, he tried to get the red away from the cushion, but he would have had to put a lot of action into the white there, but well, it's not too bad. I think he's got the angle on the brown here. He might be able to screw directly into this red. Unless he can just avoid the pink on the right-hand side. He's looking at that angle now, just to come off the top cushion. Too much action on the white. Play the screw shot there when he really wanted sort of a power stun. So he's got to uh, play a good safety now. Twenty-four. 
Pini Calabresi, 24. Nearly got the snooker. Benny in some trouble here. Can't come off the top cushion, of course. The pink's in the way. Might have to just come off the one cushion. I was thinking, too, might have to just be the left hand cushion here. I say the one cushion, of course, off the top cushion would have been only one, but. No good that way, pink's in the way, so not sure if the black's in the way here either. Probably trying to bounce this into the cushion, create the angle. Never easy to judge when you're just coming off the one cushion. He needs that to roll, though. Well, I think we'll see Judd take this on. That was a chance. Been fortunate to see the red come away from the pocket. I don't think that was the right shot. That was a tough shot to take on from there. He should have played a safety and waited. Might just have cost him this One. third frame. Should have shown a little bit more patience there, Vinny, I'm afraid. Overly good either. I wanted to be dead straight on this yellow. I wonder if he can pot this get him and get a cannon into the green. Well, he actually caught the brown. Nine. But he's still out of position. some shot. I don't know how he's got that angle from there. What a shot that is. Looks a little bit straight on the brown though. Can he get close to the blue? He only needs brown, blue and blue and pink. Oh, hang on. Oh, that's not bad there. Well, this is some contribution here, David. It hasn't been straightforward, but he's got the pink to win the frame. It's not been a great frame, let's be honest, but uh, this would be a really good clearance if he knocks this in. Oh, terrific. There's the class of Judd Trump. Brilliant. A lot of mistakes on either side, but it's Judd Trump who wins the frame, and he leads 3-0.
fair way out there. But he's in good position in this match. He seemed to have gone a little flat, but he made a great clearance to win that frame. And as I say, just showed his class there. That's unlucky. That could have finished anywhere. One. He's got to play this with a little bit of power. I've seen these rattled before. Just from one. Yes, I don't think that was a kick. He just caught the near knuckle. That's why he didn't go in. Didn't get ideal position on the red either. Well, I'm not sure whether you can see enough of that to pot it. I think the edge of the pack is just masking the, uh, the potting angle to play this one. Oh dear. That had to go in. He knew that he was going into all the reds. It started well in the first frame, but since then, one. then he's just lost his way a little bit. I just wonder whether he, he will get another chance, although Judd's just left himself a little bit low on this black. Again, if this red doesn't go here to the right corner, Eight. I don't think he's on one. Well, that was the attempted cutback from Vinny. But uh, the way things are, I think he might have got away with it. Judd might take this onto the green pocket. It's a cheeky one. Oh, it was only in the middle. Unlucky to finish there. What a pot. So that cheeky, it was certainly naughty. <laughs> well, uh, he knew that he couldn't take the white to the ball, could he, with that red being there? Can we class that the first naughty one we've seen today? <laughs> Well, he just got to concentrate now. As I say, just to, to mind seemed to wander a little in the last frame. I think that can sometimes happen to a player if they feel they're not being put under pressure. But uh, he wants, of course, to get out of there as quickly as he can. He's got another two matches to play today. Possible four tomorrow. Well, this is a good chance, isn't it, now, to kill it off. 18. And you would expect him to do that. 19 26 27 
Well, he's living the dream right now. Judd Trump is the world number three, has been as high as uh, one in the world. Last season on the table, he earned just under 380,000. He's got various endorsements as well. 34. Not uh, 24 till next month. So uh, it's a great time to be Judd Trump. Has he just bought a new Ferrari as well? Quite possibly. I, I wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> I thought he'd changed it, actually. I think it's important to enjoy yourself. It's not, you know, if, if you just play snooker all day long and that's all you do, then uh, you're not sort of living to the full, are you? No. It's a getting a balance, as in any job, between your work and your life. 41. There's no reason why you can't enjoy your success. I think I've overly, overly committed myself a few times. Before now. <laughs> 46. Well, there's no doubt he is dedicated to the game. But uh, it's not the only thing in his life, and there's nothing wrong with that. 52. So he's not far away from 52. clinching uh, a whitewash here. I think the first frame was probably the key one because uh, Calabresi started really well, but the minute he missed, his whole body language seemed to change. And now he's a couple of balls from defeat. Yeah, it was, it's like he was saying to himself, oh, I know what's, gonna come, what's coming now. 60. And unfortunately, it has. It's just getting greedy. Uh, it's kind of rubbing it in a bit. Well, good, sorry, Dave, I was going to say a good display from Judd, though. You know, he, he's he's looking for something, isn't he? Looking for some form. This might be the weekend. Yes, and th I think the audience here will be pleased to see him through because he does play a, an eye-catching style of game. Sixty-nine. Uh, I said the same about John Higgins earlier. It would be a surprise Seven. to see Judd Trump. I think tomorrow. So well, he'll play the winner of Mark Joyce or Mark Owens, who haven't started out yet. They're due on the table, one of the tables, pretty soon. Trump, well, 17. Judd Trump will be back whenever that one's done, because he's through to the delight of this audience. Final break of 70 there, the highest of the match. And, uh, well, a couple of frames that certainly could have gone the other way. I'm sure the Aussie will feel that uh, if he'd won that first frame, he might have settled down a bit, but he didn't, and Judd Trump has done it. He's through to the last 64, a winner here in Rotterdam, finally by four frames to nil.